We got a notice about the car on um, Tuesday, the, um, July 15th, when I finally met up with Casey. She said that Kaylee was with the babysitter, Zanny. Kaylee wasn't with her like she had told me she was with her for the last month. She was kidnapped by um, Zanita, and, um, you know, and that's what she's maintained. She told me, you know, um, some things th during the month of June because she was trying to look for her and try to get her back herself. There was no reason to believe that Casey and Kaylee weren't together at any time. With us tonight, a primetime exclusive, the criminal defense attorney for Cindy and George Anthony, the grandparents of little Kelly, Mark Nijame. Uh, he's joining us live in our Manhattan studios. He's a veteran trial lawyer. I just played you a tiny bit of sound of your clients, George and Cindy Anthony, suggesting that another dead body was placed in their car trunk. This screams of denial and the reason I believe so many people are venting at them are venting at your clients is because it's perceived that they could get answers out of Casey Anthony and if they could they would but you know denial some people many people said that they're in denial but the reality of it is is whoever our creator is has given us this wonderful thing called denial it allows us to process great pain and great loss in our lives and and you know, you, you've got a psychologist on, I understand, the Kubler-Ross Kubler um, model. You know, the first stage is denial of grief. The last stage is acceptance, and it's surely not a linear process. So for people to process as they need to, why should anybody be angry at them because it is taking them whatever it takes to figure out what they need to figure out. Well, they I believe today that I she's gonna, alive. I God bless them for that. I that is not a rhetorical question, sir, and I will answer you. The reason they are angry is because a life potentially could hang in the balance. That's why in every day that passes, either Kelly Anthony, a three-year-old little girl, is in more and more danger alive, or three-year-old Kelly is decomposing somewhere and may never be found. There's no time for but, denial. But they agree with both roads to be traveled. They agree that if anybody that believes she's no longer with us continue to conduct those searches. God bless those people. But for those who take another path and believe that she's still with us, you know, they've gotten over 20 different cities, people from 20 different cities in the last several days who are wanting t-shirts and posters and everything else to be sent out for those who are still in search of a live um, Kaylee. So, so they're not impeding anything. In you fact, stated which, that there are two new leads in the search for Kaylee. What are they? I'm sorry, I don't... Uh, I no, understand I think, that I, there are two new leads since no, you've I been see. on the case? No, I'm sorry. Um, I've gotten, in fact, it's four now. I've had, we've had four different people contact us concerning information they have as to uh, having seen her. What is so it? We Where pass is she? A, there are different cities. We turn them over to law enforcement. Well, what spoken, are they? We've spoken to law enforcement as recently well, why as... why don't you want the public to I, know what the new I would are. like to. I'm respecting law enforcement, which I know you surely want to do. And they've asked us not to state any of this on the public, not to state in, this in, in the airwaves, because it might, impede, in fact, it might, in fact, impede investigations. And the person that I spoke to was a chief with the Orange County Sheriff's Department. So we confirmed that, but I'm not going to jeopardize okay, any investigation, and I, and I think you would. Let so we're not going to go sir. there. How long had Casey Anthony been freeloading off her parents, stealing from her parents, unstopped, unchecked, it was allowed. And that has really nothing to do with what I'm talking to you about That today. may be true, but my and, question and, and is And if that. it's true, I'm not going there, because where I am going is the fact that there's been these too many of these diversions, which are irrelevant, and they're sensational, and they have nothing to do with finding Kaylee. Kaylee needs to be found in where, wherever she may be. And all we're saying is let's stop this media circus, and let's allow those who believe she's still with us on this earth. And if there's only a one in a hundred chance, then God willing, she might be that one. Let's not forget about Joe. Joe Benet Ramsey in that type of case. Mistakes John can be made. Benet John Benet, I apologize for the mispronunciation. You know, the fact of the matter is for 10 years that poor mother was, was vilified and chastised and crucified in the press and, and by law enforcement officers and well, by the sir, public. And then she passes. And then she passes. Believe. No, allow me to finish, please. And then she passes. And two months after 10 years, then she was exonerated. It can happen. It does happen. And if people believe that little Kaylee is no longer with us, then 
Sir, God bless them for helping We're going to have to go to commercial break, so please hold the sermon. Let's take the calls to Donna in Ohio. Hi, Donna. Hi, Nancy. How are you? I'm good, dear. What's your question? Good. Hey, I have a couple questions. Um, has anybody questioned Casey about the chloroform that was found in, in the vehicle? And it's also, the woman on television the other night said that it would be traced um, or the only way to order it was with a credit card. Has anybody traced anything, you know, back to a credit card where she ordered it? Out to Natisha Lance, our producer standing by at the Anthony home. What about it, Natisha? Well, if anybody's asked her about it, we do not know about it. The only person that Casey has been talking to about this case is her attorney, Jose Baez. Let's unleash the lawyers. In addition to Mark and Nijam, the attorney for Cindy and George Anthony, joining us live tonight and taking your calls. Renee Rockwell out of Atlanta, Alex Sanchez out of New York. To you, Renee, there's no way that law enforcement has asked her about the chloroform. It was discovered after she got a defense attorney. That's right, Nancy, and that was the smartest thing she could have done because she doesn't need to say anything else. She is a suspect. I don't care what anybody says. Alex? By operation of law, the police simply cannot speak to her unless they get permission from Mr. Byers, and I'm sure Mr. Byers is not giving permission for her client to speak to the police. Back to Mr. Nijame, attorney for George and Cindy Anthony. Uh, he's joining us here from our Manhattan studios. He is a Florida criminal defense attorney, practices in multiple jurisdictions. Have your clients uh, acknowledged the chloroform in the car, do they have any idea where it may have come from? And again, that goes to an area that we've been specifically asked not to get into it by law enforcement. But I need to make one point very okay. clear. It won't be a sermon. Um, I've never met uh, Casey Anthony. I've never met her lawyer. I've never spoken to either of them. I've never had any communication with them whatsoever. We have nothing to do with that case. We have everything to do with assisting the Anthonys in their quest to find Kaylee. Sir, many people have suggested I believe erroneously that Cindy Anthony with a nursing background may have had the ability to somehow get her mitts on chloroform. So that is a real issue for you. Well, it's an issue for people who choose not to believe law enforcement, who've clearly gone through all these issues and, clear, and with hours and hours of um, discussions with uh, my clients and have made a determination that they have had nothing to do with this. They are not people of interest and they are not suspects. So anybody that wants to take these wild, okay. horrific I leaves, asked you about they're wrong. The chloroform. I think that was a no. Everybody with me, Mark Nijam, attorney for George and Cindy Anthony, quickly. We are asking for your prayers for attorney Sandy Schiff in the fight of a lifetime against leukemia. I've got some good news to report. Her bone marrow transplant, a success. She is now producing red blood cells indicators. She is engrafted. She has another bone marrow test set. Sandy, please stay strong.